I'm Kate Mara, and this is Ghost Writer. Hello? Miss Michaels, this is Max Flannery in James Weber's office. I have him for you. Oh, it, it's not really a good time. Oh, it, please. Oh, God damn it. Kate! Hi, Mr. Weber. Uh, we... Did we have something scheduled for today? What's that? Could, I might lose you. I'm in transit. The connection is spotty sometimes on the jet. The jet? Hello? I'm he- I'm here. Oh, thought I lost you. Sorry, Mr. Weber, I don't have anything on my schedule. I had a few minutes free, so I thought I'd call. I'm, I'm not really prepared right now. For- I find that some of my best ideas come from improvising. <sighs> That's fascinating. What was that? You're breaking up a little. It's just, I'm afraid it's not a good time. Uh, oh, uh, no, don't worry. It's a great time. No, it's not a good time for me. Uh, I think you can spare me five minutes out of your busy schedule. How the fuck would you know what I can and can't do right now? (laughs) Well, aren't you a honey dripper? It's not what I'm known for. No, you're known for manipulating the people you interview in order to get them to admit things they normally wouldn't. (laughs) Is that how you get them started? By cursing at them? Where did you hear that? (laughs) I wouldn't call what I do manipulation. Oh, okay. What would you call it? Uh, radical empathy? <laughs> Saying fuck you is radical I empathy. I didn't say no. It. no, I said fuck at you. There is a difference. Oh, okay. You just got the real authentic me there. You should be very flattered. Well, nice to meet you, real Kate. Can't wait to hear what you're like when you get comfortable. Listen, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't. I like to know who I'm dealing with. And I have heard much, much worse. But... Clearly, I've interrupted something. No, that's okay. (laughs) Let's talk. Good. How about, uh... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Sorry, you go. Go ahead. I was just going to say, tell me about this, um... This thing that happened with your neighbor. Yeah, my neighbor. Actually, I hadn't thought about it for a long time. And then a few years ago, I started thinking about it. A lot. What about it? Well, for one thing, he was young. The killer? How young? Early teens. And who... Who was he thought to have killed? Someone close to him. A family member, I think. Did they ever find out why? Uh, I never knew the exact reason. I always wondered if he really knew what he was doing. Sounds like he's the most interesting part to you. Or the murderer? Yeah. Might make a compelling main character. But then wouldn't we know who did it from the beginning of the book? Well, maybe maybe it's not a whodunit. If, if we know who the killer is all along, the real mystery is why. I mean, that's the question you can't shake, right? Why did he do it? And who is going to catch him? Is he going to get caught? Okay, I can see that. And it would probably be a defining moment, especially for a kid. Like, it would, it would change everything in the course of his life. Maybe what, maybe what starts as an accident becomes an obsession. A career. Like a serial killer. People love serial killers. I hope you've enjoyed this preview of Ghost Rider. Now, grab your popcorn and be sure to search, listen to, and enjoy Ghost Rider, a new one episode feature length podcast movie experience from C13 Features, a Cadence 13 studio. Available wherever you find your podcasts.